I never really decided to become a mermaid. I just sort of started doing it one day. I had uh, two regular swimming fins and I just decided to swim with them held together. And then one day I got a monofin for my birthday and I, before I knew it I was making my own tail. It's really difficult acting underwater because you, you never know if the camera is getting you from the right angle. You never know if, if your hair is doing what you want it to do. It's, it's, it's always really tricky. It's only when you see the results afterwards that you can say if you've done what you wanted to do. Especially the last video with the goldfish tail. There was a really tricky shot in there that I wanted to do where the girl was just sort of floating in the water and there was blood coming out of her mouth. And that was really hard because in the water I, have to, I usually breathe out when I'm swimming so that I'll I don't have to fight to stay underwater. But that didn't work for that shot, so Eric had to actually hold me down in the water just so we could get the shot right before I would float back up. That must have looked pretty weird for the people around there because they were just sort of staring at us because all they were seeing was a girl being held down by a guy underwater and then her coming back up with blood running from her face. So it must have looked pretty scary. We're getting some looks. <laughs> The last video was so much fun to make. We, uh, we actually hired a professional photographer this time, Carl Raywood, who was also a diving instructor, so he and Eric would be in full diving gear and I would just be swimming around there dressed in my mermaid costume. I had to do a breathe up, it's like a warm up between takes to catch my breath, and Carl would come to the surface and tell me what shot we were going to do next, which was really great. And I would just sort of hang there on a piece of rock or something else that would give me some support. When my sister and I were younger, we used to spend our weekends locked in the attic drawing mermaids. I think we must have drawn like thousands of them. I, I drew them and then my sister got to color them and sort of cut them out. And then we used to play with them around the garden. I'm also looking if I can do other things underwater. I used to be a ballet teacher, so now I'm trying to see if I can dance underwater. I'm not sure if it's even possible yet, but it's a lot of fun to try it out. To those who want to become mermaids themselves, I would say just start doing it. It's Even if you don't have a monofin, just get two regular swimming fins and swim with them held together. You know, do some breathing exercises, some apnea training, do a course in free diving, that really helps. It's a real eye-opener to see how you look underwater. It's something you have to get used to, but in the end I think everything is just beautiful underwater anyway. <laughs>